thank you so much to Keely Co for sponsoring today's video, the ultimate arts and crafts kit for all ages. Check the link in the description for 50% off your first order and I will speak about them a little bit more later in the video. Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So today I have a very exciting video planned because I have an egg. It's the wrong egg. Egg. Whoa nearly fell off and smashed. <laughs> this is a Ryan's World Series 2 Mystery Art Egg. I saw this in Target the other day and I was like, oh, it's that kid from YouTube that's like a millionaire. So we all know that I like to unbox things on my channel, especially mystery things. I don't really like seeing kids on the internet. I just don't think it's really right. But I mean, hey, this kid's doing well for himself. He's set for life. But yes, this is a Ryan's World Mystery Art Egg Series 2. So unfortunately, at some point, I did not see the Series 1 egg. So I'm very sorry for that. This is for the age of five and up. So clearly I'm not technically the demographic um, as someone that's approaching 30 too quickly for my liking. This is, this is not clearly for me, but... I thought, you know, I want to open this mystery art egg that actually has all of the items inside on on the writing and then also in the picture form. Like, oh, there's a lot of you that have nieces, nephews, cousins, sons, daughters. Um, and some of you just, you, you're like me, you just kind of like mystery stuff, whether it's age appropriate or not. And we're just going to look at it. And as a disclaimer, I am not going to be harshly judging this. This is not actually... For, sorry, Ryan, fix your hair, sorry. Anyway, yes, got the egg. Okay, so here's our mystery art egg. Let's do some ASMR. Mystery art egg. Yeah, it tells you everything on the side. It has three stars. Um, and again, I'm not gonna judge this harshly. Upon opening the egg, it was missing the cardboard glued to it to make it a mystery. Don't buy, complete waste of money, great value. There's not really an in-between. It's either one star or five star. There is literally no in-between with any of these reviews. It's gonna be kind of very difficult to know if this is gonna be any good or not. So I guess we'll see. Okay. Oh, sorry, Ryan. That's kind of satisfying. Oh, it ended. So our egg has a hinge and a handle. Ooh. Okay. What is that? Smells like plastic. It's like an advent calendar, which I love. I love advent calendars. I open advent calendars at Christmas with art supplies in them. So I really like this a lot. Okay, so here's our stickers. And then we also have this big rolling Thing, which I believe we're just gonna be using to color with. So you have like a long sheet here. It's very long, it keeps going. Looks like my CVS receipt. Well, that right there is one piece. One, I could probably just turn this around and show you, couldn't I? One coloring piece right here. And then at the end, you've just got a small one. I wish it was in like a book really more than anything, but that's still nice. It's just kind of hard if you're drawing as a kid for it to just like, it's a bit of paper that's gonna get scrunched up. I'm just gonna start from the top, I guess. Ooh, it's like Christmas. Oh, cute! Oh, this is really cute, actually. Okay, so here we have markers. I've got some markers here, they're already falling out. I feel like this just makes it a little bit more fun. You get a ton of markers and they all actually have different designs on them. But yeah, you have some cute colors here. I'd like to think these are kind of like Ryan's World colors. Just your standard old, uh, what you had in your pencil case at school. A little one here, this is gonna be an eraser. Oh, I think it is. Oh, that's so cute though. He's so cute, little frog. I love that. Like an angry panda. That's adorable as well. Um, so far for $20, I'm trying to think, if I had a five-year-old, would I buy this? Honestly, probably not, but I mean, we'll keep going because we've got one more container here. 
So whilst they talk about arts and craft kits, KiwiCo has shipped over 30 million crates around the world. Their subscription lines are incredible and they also have one-off crates available for purchase in their store as well. If you remember the video I did where I honestly reviewed the KiwiCo box when it wasn't sponsored, I was absolutely blown away by how incredible it was. Not just how much was inside for the price, but how detailed the instructions were and how much you could make with it. Whether you're an inspired crafter yourself or thinking of little ones in your life, KiwiCo has something for everyone. It's a great way to spend quality time with anyone special in your life and it's an awesome gift as well. They have a ton of crates for all ages from the ages of 0 to 104. When people think of KiwiCo, they generally think of awesome steam kits for kids. However, there is also a whole other side to KiwiCo that is somewhat of a well-kept secret. I have used the Maker Crate. Maker Crate is a monthly craft box dedicated to the discovery of new art and design tools. Whether you're a first-time crafter or an experienced maker, KiwiCo has designed each Maker Crate to include a chance to learn and experiment with a new technique. The materials are high quality and each crate includes all of the supplies you need to complete that month's project. It also comes with easy to follow instructions and a magazine that gives you a look at the history and real world applications of each art form or design technique you're using. So check out KiwiCo for yourself, get 50% off your first month with the link in the description and thank you so much to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. Oh, oh these are stencils, okay. Yeah, I don't feel like that's really worth $20, but yeah. Oh, there's, there is. There is another one up here. I missed it. And we got another eraser, which is Ryan's face. Okay, so final thoughts on this so far. It is expensive for $20. I, I mean, you do get like the fun mystery side of things, which I think is really nice. I would say $15 is more fair because you're not really getting a lot in there. You are getting some markers, stencils, the erasers, the crayons and stuff. Obviously you are paying for the branding itself, like you're actually paying for the name. Um, just like you don't need a $700 t-shirt from Gucci just because it has Gucci on it. You don't necessarily need this either, but everyone buys things based on their budget, what the actual branding is. So yeah, I do think $20 is way too much for this. I'm trying to decide which, these are kind of obnoxiously long. Like, why are they so long? Oh, it's this, it's the same thing. That is kind of, that's kind of crappy actually. This is the same thing. Like, wait, wait. You see the design and it ends with the little go-kart go thing. It's the same thing as this one. It's the same exact design with the same thing. And then you go to the next one and it's the exact same design. I'm not blaming Ryan here because he has no control, but still, this is, they give you the same thing on each one. stencils too. Like the markers so far, they're just kind of like standard Crayola markers. I can't really criticize them too much. But where do you use them? Are you supposed to use them on the back of the coloring page? I mean, they don't give you like any form of paper or anything. One of those kits I feel like as a kid you'd be kind of disappointed in. Again, I don't want to judge this too harshly, but there's no, there's nothing to actually use the stencils on. Or the stickers. Like you could put the stickers on the coloring page if you want, but it's like a bit of a small bit of paper. Should have had a sheet that you could colour, a sheet that you could like put these stickers on and then like a sheet that you could use the stencils with because I feel like that would have worked better. I'm wondering if these crowns are going to be more like the rose art, crazy art kind of quality or if they're going to be Crayola quality. I'm going to be honest, I kind of feel like these are more crazy art, rose art kind of quality. I don't know, they're not overly pigmented and they feel almost like they're not waxy and soft. They feel like they're really got to press them more, they're harder and drier almost. I mean, look, the penguin is not too bad. My favorite thing in this kit, without a doubt, the markers and the little erasers, which I don't know why you would need an eraser 
because you have no pencils! Look how this crayon goes on. You Can you see, like, the, the Rosarts-esque way that this goes on? Got paint your own wood pets, paint your own wood tea set for $15. They even have these little ceramics you can paint. I really kind of want to get this because <laughs> I'm really not good with resin and it looks fun. Here's the egg, the $20 egg. But then you also have stuff like this for $15. It's an entire water marbling kit and then you have a paint your own canvas board kit. There's like four different types. These are $5 for these little ceramics here. $20, same price. Okay, this is what I saw online and what I was looking for. This is $22 with all of that inside. So apparently they don't have crazy art in here. Did that go out of business and I just didn't realize it? <laughs> they do have Crayola, 24 crayons, but also this Mondo Llama, 24. For 35 cents. Got some 279 markers here. These are just like the ones that came in the kit. It's pretty good. You can literally get entire coloring pages for like a dollar ninety nine here. This one is five eighty nine. It has not only the coloring book but it also has fifty stickers. Like this whole thing. I'm gonna be honest, I cannot find any stencils anywhere, but I know that you're gonna be able to get those in the dollar store for like a dollar. So I just calculated and $11.37 is what it costs to get the Crayola crayons, the pens, the coloring book with stickers. The only thing it's missing is the probably dollar stencils and then a giant plastic egg. Um, and I just feel like that would be a better deal. I know it doesn't have Ryan's name on it. Again, I'm not blaming Ryan for this. This is like, there's a whole team behind him. He's just the face of it. Um, and he has obviously no control over any of this whatsoever. And maybe I'm being a little bit picky. You can even get Prismacolor sets for $20 in here too which is a really good deal. I'm back and I have a Crayola kit that I just went and bought from Target. So this was $22. This is an imagination art set. It has a beautiful uh, case and pretty much has everything that's in this case, but there's extras pretty much. And this was $22.99. So it has these markers right here. And then it also has the Pipsqueak markers, which are a smaller version of these, then they have like small pencils and they also have a ton of crayons. Um, I did look for crazy art, they didn't have them. I don't know if that's because Target doesn't sell them or if crazy art has like somehow been out of existence for many years and I've only just noticed. Like I knew rose art didn't exist anymore. I pretty much bought this because it was $22.99, $3 more than the Ryan set, so obviously you're gonna expect there to be more in here based on the fact it is more expensive. But the reason why I bought this was because I feel like, obviously, the whole theme of this is it's kind of like a mystery thing, so that has a nice cool element to it. And it's also Ryan themed. And Ryan seems like a really cute, sweet kid. I've never watched any of his content, but based on his face, he looks like a really sweet little kid. Um, so this is not me in any means criticizing him. Not in one little bit. Oh, see, they have paper too. They have paper that you can use and then you get this entire, entire collection for $3 more. So none of the pens, to be fair, none of these Crayola pens actually like match the color of theirs. Okay, so we'll just for argument's sake, test out these four colors since they're somewhat similar. Um, and just see, basically, comparably how they are. So here's the green, which is actually not that good. It's kind of dried out, actually. It's a little bit dried out. And then we'll try the pip squeak. And now you can see the difference. See, the blue's kind of better. I think the green was maybe just dry. So that's Ryan's. There's not a massive difference with the blues. Yeah, and that's where you can kind of see the difference again, quite hugely. I'm not overly impressed. I don't want to be mean or anything. I'm just not like... Yeah, see this one's also kind of dried out. 
This one, I only used a couple of the colors so far. This one's literally like completely dried out. I, I, I'm trying to be nice. So here we have our comparison. So I'm gonna first off start with all of the Ryan's um, crayons and I'm pressing pretty hard right now. Okay, so these are all the colors from the Ryan set. They're really beautiful colors, I will say. It's just more so how they feel. And I don't think really children to an extent would really know or care. The only thing I would say is when I was a kid and I had these sets and the, the actual markers, the felt tip pens as we call them in the UK, were really, really dried out. It would absolutely drive me nuts. And to this day, I hate markers because of my experience with them as a kid. Let us now compare the Crayola. Okay, so visually, Ryan's, and this is Crayola. Honestly, on paper, there isn't a massive difference. I'm gonna be straight out honest with you. They do, you know, they just look like crayons. I would say that the only real difference to me personally is the way they feel when you use them. The Crayola glides better. A little closer up. Let me know if you see any difference. I, I don't, other than the way that it feels to use personally. I know me and Crayola in the past, I've, there was, they had a box um, a little while ago that I quite heavily critiqued. But at the end of the day, Crayola is an incredible company and I am big fans of Crayola. I think that just everything they produce is just, it, it excites me to this day. If I could change anything about the Ryan's World art set is I would put more in there. Um, I would put some paper in there so that you can actually use kind of like the Crayola set. I remember when I said, it's a shame they don't have blank paper in here or a little sketchbook. They have that in the Crayola set. I think that was severely lacking, as well as maybe a couple of pencils that were themed to Ryan's World. Those are like ridiculously cheap to have made, so it's not like they're an expensive addition to the set. I think the stickers are adorable. I'm not sure how good the quality is. I love that they had the erasers, but you had nothing to use them with. Um, I also personally would have made the price point maybe about $15, especially when I went to Target and compared what they did have around that set. And the fact that these are manufactured at bulk as well, the more obviously, if you're making a product, if you're manufacturing something, the more of that product that you have made, usually the less it costs to make. But yeah, I think Ryan is an incredible little kid. I think he's done an amazing job. I think his parents to have expanded his brand the way they have is awesome. They obviously have a great team of people behind them to be able to kind of go from wherever they started to where they are now. But yeah, I just personally would like to see maybe them a little bit higher quality. And so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below too what you think of this whole set, especially if you have kids of your own or if you are still young yourself. Let me know your opinions on this and whether you think this is worth the money or not or whether you'd buy this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Bye.